Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. In yesterday's video, part one, we flew in all the trusses, got them into their saddle joints, and got them temporarily screwed in place. Now, I'm gonna get them all adjusted, drill them for bolts, get them bolted down, and with any luck, get the temporary bracing put in. I'm gonna start on this front one here. This one is probably the most out of place. The truss is supposed to be flush with the end of the column there, and you can see that it's a good three inches out. So what I need to do is first, I'm gonna go up on each of these posts and tie the truss to the post then I'm going to go up on both ends and remove the temporary screws. Then I got to get on one side or another. It'll be this side. I have to take this brace off because it's in the way. I have to screw a cleat onto the truss and then I have to get a clamp on there and yank the whole thing that way. It's not super hard to pull it with a clamp like that. The only problem with the front here is the only thing that's going to be holding this on is a couple straps on these. It's a bit scary, but it shouldn't be too bad. All right, I'm gonna start right here and get something tied onto that. All right, I'm ready to adjust the front truss. This side is completely loose. I went up there and took the screws out. The only thing holding it in place is the catch there. There's two catches here, and these both have a strap holding it to the column loosely and then it's tied down here if it were to like tip that would catch it and it would tip out a bit but it should stop and over here on the money side that clamp is just loosely clamping that to the column that i may have to adjust that as i start pulling it and i screwed a block onto it right there i got to get a clamp from that block to the column and pull this entire thing over uh, looks like an inch and a half maybe two inches but first i got to get those two screws out and that's the last mechanical connection this thing has to the building so hopefully everything goes right Okay, last screw. So far, so good. That's it. Now just a couple temporary screws.
I had planned on using half inch bolts up there, two of them, just like this. But if I do that, this stuff is really hard to hide. I got tin that goes on the face of this. So what I'm gonna do is when I go to town, I'm gonna get big half inch spacks and put one at the bottom and one up at the top. And I'll use slightly lesser specs on these two columns here. So for now, that's plenty to hold that in place. And the big thing is it's moved all the way over. Now I got to go check the other side. I'm going to fasten that side nice and tight as well. Then I'll put some temporary screws through the face of the truss into the column. And then that'll be it for the front truss. Okay, now we got an issue on this side. And I pretty much knew that was going to happen. More than what we pulled that one in, this one is now off. So I have to pull this one flush with the column and get this one all screwed in place as well. But before I do that, these girts just have a single screw in each one. I'm gonna take that screw out and then pull this all straight, get it screwed in place, and then get some temporary screws in these two and move the heck on. All right, I did this one the same as that one with the second clamp over the top and I was getting nowhere. The clamp I was pulling the truss over with was pulling the truss away from the post there, which is a little bit dangerous. So I moved the clamp down here and then it went real smooth. Now for these two, what I'm gonna do on these is get my big Stabilo level and just put it on the inside here, go up the ladder, get it plumb, throw a screw in, do the same on this one and then move on to the next truss. Okay, the front truss is done for today. The next thing I gotta do on this is put that top gird in across here and then that block that the truss is sitting on, I'll cut one for there. Same thing on the other side, but this is looking really nice. It is dead flush on both sides and nice and tight up against the columns. Now for these. This one, you could see it's really splayed like that, but what's causing that is the screw that's holding it in place pushed the other ear of the saddle joint away. So I gotta back that screw out, put clamps on it, get all the screws back in, and then drill holes and bolt this in place. You could see on this one, that the spacer block is out of place and the truss is sitting on it on an angle. I'm hoping that goes back in place easy. Well, that was easy. Okay, let's start screwing this in place, get some clamps on it, and then finally drill a couple holes in here. That screw is actually holding the truss up from sitting all the way into its joint. correctly. This is one of the ones that was giving us fits. All right, I got to get that to drop down into its joint. Oh, it's probably got another screw in it. Yes, it does. Well, there's your problem. Bada bing, bada boom. And that's real close to being flush too. So good, good, good. All right, I have this first truss bolted in place. You can see it's got two bolts on either side. And what that does is eliminates the knee brace. You can have a nice square room this way and it's strong as all get out. Okay, I'm gonna skip this one and go on to the next. This one was by far the worst truss. It had this plate on this side was bulging out real much. So it was kind of hell getting that squeezed together. 
I'm going to try to use my head cam on this one. I believe I'm going to have to yank all of these a little bit into place and then screw them into place, then drill them, then bolt them. That's what I had to do on this one, but maybe I'll get lucky on some of these and I'll just be able to bolt them. Pretty much every one of these columns or trusses needs adjustment at the top, but some much more than others. All right, this one, the top was kind of like that. So I had to pull this one over, then throw a screw in. And now I got this one pulled over and I'm just gonna put the bolt in. So we gotta drill through it. What I want to do is try to get in the center of this top cord and the center of the bottom cord. Bottom cord, I'll be going through the plate and the top cord is all wood. This is some real nice southern yellow pine, so it's hard and it's got a lot of sap in it, but that's okay. Just takes a little longer to drill. Hopefully I can get this done without dropping tools. And unfortunately, the only ratchet I have is really shallow, so I have to put it on this end. Kind of sucks. And I discovered that the plates on these, well, this one is actually okay. I guess it's probably only that side. But the plates on these, all of them on that side so far, are sticking away from the, from the cord. It's like when they put it in the press, they put this side down and put both plates on and press both plates at the same time. And one doesn't, doesn't work very well. I'm trying not to drop these tools. That's the other side of the plate.
I have red all over my hands from the from the red marker that we used to mark the tops of the trusses. They marked them at the factory, at the Amish factory, like this right here, but they were wrong. The markings were wrong, so I had to redo them. Or actually, Cindy did most of them while we were while we were down here setting trusses. Not sure if you'll be able to see this or not. I can probably get rid of this clamp now. beautiful okay I just got done cleaning up and that's gonna do it for today sun up to sundown and we made a lot of progress today so besides the obvious the trusses being in place the front one is ready for the big spacks and then this one and every other one is bolted in place so tomorrow i need to get this back one exactly where it needs to go and then the other two bolted into place i need to get the bracing on that's what all this stuff is that's two strips at the bottom and two strips at the top that's going to be quite difficult to do and then I have the rest of the girts. There's a girt in the front that didn't get put in because I needed to get the truss in first. Then on both sides, there's a girt way up there towards the top that catches the soffit. So I don't know. I'm hoping to get it all done tomorrow, but I don't think I'll be able to. It's quite a bit of work, but I'm going to give it a shot. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.